Hey, hi there everyone. Uh, so I haven't been making many videos. I just moved, so um, I haven't had much time. But here I am today, and I'm going to be talking about transitions, um, specifically page transitions. So for example, right now you see when I click on them, they just immediately change to the other page. But what we want to do is have some kind of animation, kind of like in phone apps, where you'll choose it and it'll kind of like move to the side, kind of as a card or something. Um, and so it'll just give you a nice look or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so I'm going to get started. So what I do is here in Sapper, I come to Source, I come to Routes, and then I ignore that because first I need to make a Transition Wrapper component. So what I do is call it Transition Wrapper.Svelte. And in here we're going to make the component. So we need to import on mount from Svelte, and I'll tell you why in a second. And then we need to import the transitions, and I'm going to just use fly for now from Svelte slash transition. Okay, and then in the style, so basically what this wrapper is going to do is create a div that has a transition on it, and then it'll have a slot. So you can stick the all your pages into that slot. So for example, here I copy and pasted it. Um, I've got div in. It's going to fly in. And this is the transition. And then the actual page is going to go in the slot. So the div is going to need a position of relative so that the transition can work on it. But it won't actually affect the page once it the transition is done. Okay, and then, importantly, we need a bit of logic here to make this work. And what it will be is an if statement. So if, so here I'll, first I'll make a variable, let show equal false. Okay, so if show, then it's going to show this, and, and the if. Um, but we want, once it's mounted, to immediately show. So that will trigger the transition, and that's why we have on mount like this, and we can just say show equals true. So immediately when it's mounted, the show will equal true, and it will trigger this transition, um, and you'll be able to see it on any page that is wrapped by this transition wrapper. So to wrap it, I'm gonna come here, and you're gonna have to do this in all of them. Let's see, is there a script here? No. You're gonna have to scripts, import, Oops. Import transition wrapper from dot dot slash component slash transition wrapper dot svelte. Um, okay. So now I have my transition wrapper and I can wrap the, so I don't want to wrap the head, but I want to wrap the rest of the component in this transition wrapper. And this might be enough to, oh, it didn't give me a closing tag. Transition wrapper, hopefully, hopefully I spelled that right. Okay, so let's see. So now I go here, and then I come here, and it's not doing anything. So I probably did something wrong. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, so why wasn't it working before? Okay. Um, anyway, it's working now. Home. So now it's going to slide in like that. And now you can go to svelte.dev slash docs and look at the other transitions. You can have any kind of transition, but this will give you just a cool little slidey in effect. If you wanted to have it on all of them, which I probably would, then you'd want to come to about and also import a transition wrapper and wrap it here. And then you'd have to come to blog index.svelte, import the transition wrapper here, and um, wrap that as well. And I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Um, if you already understand what the point is, then you don't have to watch the rest of the video. But I'm going to keep going just because I can. So import transition wrapper from dot dot slash. Oh, actually, this will be dot 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 dot. Like that. Transition wrapper dot svelte. And I'll just copy that so I don't have to paste that, do that again. And then here, just like before, so I'm not going to wrap the head. 
Although you probably could and it wouldn't matter. Would it matter? I don't know. But I'm just going to wrap the content here. Oh, and there we go. I got a closing tag. Put that down there. Save that. And then I'm going to do the same thing here in about. So this does not have a script tag. So I will give it one. Import like that. And then wrap the content in this transition wrapper. Okay, so now I save. Oh, and it looks like I did something bad. Oh, okay. So I copy and pasted dot dot slash, but this only needs one dot dot. Okay, hopefully it will work now. Let me refresh. Is it still not like that? Could not resolve dot dot slash. Oh, oops, yeah, that's my fault. I forgot to put components. And I'll put that in here as well. Components. Okay, hopefully it will work now. Let's see. Uh-oh. Source slash source slash routes slash about dot dot slash component slash transition wrapper dot oh I did not save it. Okay, sorry you had to watch all that. Hopefully it works now. There we go. Okay, so now when I click, yep, they all do that. And I won't show you any other transitions because you can go to svelte.dev slash docs and play with that on your own, or you can watch my transition video. Um, down here there are more transitions. Where are you? Right here, yeah, fade, flide, slide, scale. So you can use whatever you want. Um, so have fun with that. And bye.